This week I have a homework assignment for you. I'm going to ask for you to be cheerful, but not in the ordinary way. I'm going to ask that you go into every day of the next seven days ten times as cheerful as you ordinarily are. You'll be surprised. You'll be laughing more, smiling more, just having a great time. The hardest thing for me about doing these television broadcasts is I'm in the studio alone. That's why I love my seminars, and if you've attended my seminars, they're different because we laugh so much. Uh, and it's, it's just the joy of being together. When you are with another person and you can laugh, they, they've said that the shortest distance between two friends is laughter. When, you know when you have a good friend because you laugh with that friend. Well, that's what we do on our seminars. This week, be cheerful. Now, on some days, you know it is hard to be cheerful. When the demands of the world around you increase and you find your energy just being sapped from your body and you feel less cheerful uh, and you just feel like sometimes even tearing up, even in the darkest hours, when you turn to God, God will give you comfort. And you can experience a joyful abundance that God has promised. By giving God what is rightfully God's, which is our hearts and our minds, in short, our faithfulness, when we earnestly commit ourselves to God, and when we place God in the center of our lives, God will transform us. And that often means transforming in the day for a feeling of overwhelming joy. I've had that before, and you can too. A spiritual experience of absolute euphoria. And when you have that, it can multiply. You're literally investing in your soul, and you can have it ongoing, even for eternity. As God's children, we can share God's joy and God's message with others that find it hard to be cheerful. We can let our light shine, and often that light is a smile, a laughter, a good sense of humor. William Arthur Ward, who I like to quote quite a bit on Positive Daily Inspiration, said, A cloudy day is no match for a sunny disposition. In 2 Corinthians 13, verse 11, it says, Be cheerful. Keep things in good repair. Well, what are those things you're keeping in good repair? Your soul, your body, and your mind. You're not bringing in the, the poisons of uh, negative thinking. Now I go on. Keep your spirits up. Think in harmony. Be agreeable. Do all that. And the God of love and peace will be with you for sure.